All right, Zach, I want to start with how it's going so far here at camp. I mean, you've been here just a little chunk of change working with these players. What are your first impressions? You know, it's a team that's uh, ready to compete. Um, every, everybody came into camp and they're ready to go, um, which is always great. Um, you know, everybody took care of what they needed to take care of in the off season and, and they were responsible. And, um, you know, I think this entire organization is ready to win. Um, and that's exciting to be a part of. It's, it's, it's exciting, like when you get traded, um, to come to an organization that uh, you know you're going to step in and it's time to win. Let's go backwards just a little bit to that trade. You were traded from the Brewers in the offseason. Now you'd been through a trade before when you were in the minors. So was this different for you or did it have any kind of different feel? A little bit different feel. Uh, I'm at that point in my career where uh, you know I need to perform and, and keep my job in the major leagues. Um, back when I was with the Orioles, it was at the time I wasn't on the roster. Um, I was changing uh, organizations and you know going straight to AAA. Uh, did get the, the mention that I was going to get called up in September, but again, early on in the career, different different uh, you know timeline for myself. But um, you know, again, you get some similarities that uh, you know you're learning new faces, new names, um, a, some little different organizational philosophies that uh, you know you get used to. But that that just once you uh, get acclimated, it's normal. You had some injuries in 2018. You come back in 2019. You really helped the Brewers get to the postseason. I mean, it was a good year for you. What was it like going through the adversity of the injuries and then having a comeback year like that? That was the thing is when I came in in 19, there was no guarantee that I was going to be on the roster. They were at that point in uh, their their timeline that they wanted to win. Um, so they were going to put the best five guys out out on the mound um, to, to do that, regardless of who it was. Uh, you know, at some points in, in other teams' uh, timeline, you know, young guys will get the opportunity to fail and try and, you know, recover from it. Um, and I was a part of that with the Brewers early on um, in my career where, you know, I struggled a little bit, but I was given the opportunity to work through it. Um, now, over here, it's, you know, ready to win. So that's what I'm excited to be a part of, too. Yeah, I mean, you look at this rotation and yeah, exactly. Like this is a rotation that has dealt with inconsistencies the past few years and they're looking to take that next step. So uh, does that get you excited to know that you could be part of this that kind of makes the jump into being a more consistent rotation that doesn't have to hand the ball off in the third, fourth, fifth inning to these relievers? Yeah, you know, as a starting pitcher, you, you want to be in the game as long as possible. You, you know, you train yourself to be a starting pitcher, throw 200 innings, throw 100, 110 pitches every start. Um, obviously, it's not going to work that way every single time. Right. Manager makes decisions to completely understand, but um, you prepare yourself for that. So you, you, when things are going well, you're relied upon and, and you know that that's your job. Um, but it is, it is nice to come over to an organization like this that, uh, you know, a lot of the young guys, they already have a feel for that. Um, they know they know what they're accountable for. They know what their responsibilities are, and you know they prepare themselves for it. Working with this rotation, everyone from Chris Paddock, who's pretty intense, right? Although all of you guys are, um, and then to Garrett Richards, who's a veteran in the group. What did you kind of notice from this rotation? What stood out to you? Um, you know, everybody's everybody in the clubhouse are friends with each other you know which is it's always a good sign the clubhouse chemistry is a huge thing uh, you know in any sport but especially our game we spend so much time together uh, you know six months out of the year so I think the starters already have that feel um, I'm looking to fit in as much as I can you know, I'm not I'm not here to change anything that's not who I am that's not what they're looking for right. I'm here to give consistent games I'm here to fit in become friends with all the guys here uh, and, and you know I, I say it all the time where it's I, I don't want to root for a teammate I want to root for a friend um, you know you get on that level and, and it's more exciting for me you know the other player feels invested in um, so it, it you know it, it makes a difference well you have a nice four pitch mix what are you working on specifically in the spring training and for this season I think I'm I'm trying to work on off speed most um, I, my numbers change a little bit kind of drastically actually last year um, by usage percentage. Um, I think that was kind of going back to not really having a job. You know, the, the way I know how to get guys out with the sinker and change up, that was kind of, that was what I relied upon last year. Um, I think this year will be a lot different. I, I know that, uh, you know, I had the success last year. I'm healthy coming into camp in a little bit different position. So um, definitely work on the curveball cutter more um, and, you know, just kind of get a mix for it all around the zone. From Arizona, so did you used to ever go to San Diego? Like, you know, we call them zonies sometimes. They'd come in yeah. from the weekend. Did you do that? Um, 
When I was young, I've been to San Diego, but the only other time that I visited was, uh, you know, for playing with the Brewers. So I've been I've been to San Diego every year since I came up in the big leagues. So it's four or five years, four or five times now. Um, but every time, it, it's great weather. It's it's a great ballpark to play in, and, and always have fun out there. During Players Weekend, you put Bat Boy on the back of your jersey. Is that just are you are you kind of having fun with yourself that people mistake you for that, or what's behind that? Yeah, I've, I've just kind of accepted it. Um, <laughs> It's one of those things where it's kind of become a part of me. So, you know, I, I've I've used it the last couple of years and um, it's fun. You just accept it, really. It, it, you have fun with it and, and, you know, it does have a little bit of a message where, you know, I'm a smaller guy, I'm a younger guy that, uh, you know, still can't succeed in the major leagues. Absolutely. And a player with a sense of humor is a lot of fun. That goes a long way, right? So that's always good. Okay, you know Austin Hedges. Can you tell us a little bit about when you met him and how that relationship formed? We played club ball. I mean, we were from different parts. Um, he was in Orange County and I was still here in Arizona. But, uh, you know, our teams played each other a decent amount. Our parents got to know each other and coaches knew each other. So whenever one team in club ball, 12, 13 years old, when we weren't playing, um, you know, we'd switch back and forth on teams to, to continue playing throughout the year. Um, and, and I've stayed in his house a couple times with, really with cool. him and his dad. and um, So we have a little bit of relationship before um, coming here. And um, I have always talked about him when I was with Milwaukee about, um, you know, hoping to play with him one day just to kind of rekindle that, that club ball. Um, but, you know, it's finally here and it's exciting. Yeah, now it's come full circle for you, right? All right, Zach, Disneyland. You and your wife like to go to Disneyland. What's, uh, what's the strategy there? What, what do you guys enjoy about uh, Disneyland? How do, how do you go about doing it? Um, you know, you, you go back and forth between the parks. Uh, for us, during the season, it'll be obviously one day, an off day, yeah. go go there. Uh, but, you know, it's just something as a kid, you went there and, and enjoy it. And, uh, you know, we usually go with friends in the off season. Uh, no real path. Uh, you just find your way around. You're going to be there all day, so it's, it's uh, you're going to find everything eventually. I love it. So off day in San Diego, you'll probably jet up there, right? For sure. For sure. Okay, Zach, thank you so much. Good luck this spring, and we look forward to watching you during the season. Thank you. Appreciate it.